Hey everyone, what's up? Today I want to show you that the fundamental theorem for line integrals is true, okay? I think I would call this a proof. Maybe some people will say it's not a proof. I think it just shows you that you can probably accept this as a fact comfortably, okay? So yes, uh, let's get right into it. So basically, when you're taking the line integral over a surface C or a, a curve C and you have a gradient field, which in this case, this is just the gradient of a scalar function f. Well, you can, instead of going through the entire integral, you can just say that this will be equal to the difference in the potential function, okay? The difference in the scalar function f, okay? And uh, this would really represent two points in space, maybe. Uh, but I'm just going to use this t notation so that, well, it matches with the proof that I'm going to show you. Uh, so let's, yeah, let's do it. So first of all, uh, this will be a direct proof. So we're gonna, uh, you know, define a couple of things here. I'm gonna say that we can let uh, del of f, the gradient of f, to be, uh, yeah, I'm gonna use this notation, f sub x and f sub y, okay? This is what we have. And this really makes sense because, well, remember, you're gonna take the, the gradient field of f is gonna be the derivatives, the derivative, the partial derivative with respect to x and the partial derivative with respect to y, okay? So this is the notation I'm going to use. Now I'm just going to rewrite what we have. So gradient f is going to be f sub x, f sub y, dot, dr, well we know that's the displacement vector, so let's say this is dx, dy, okay? This is what we have now. Now we could continue to do this or to simplify this like this f dx plus f y dy okay now i will use a parametrization with respect to t okay that is something that i'm gonna define up here so let's say that i'm gonna let x be a function x of t and y just be another function y of t, okay? And then it follows that dx is going to be x prime of t, and I'm actually, uh, I'm gonna use differential notation. I'm not gonna use it up here, but I'm gonna start using differential notation for x prime of t uh, and y prime of t soon, because it will be useful. Uh, dy, y prime of t, dt, okay? So this is what we now have, and now we can throw this in here, and you're gonna see something really nice. Uh, we could distribute, we could say, let's say we, could, we have two integrals, you could do that, you don't really have to, and actually you shouldn't, because let me show you something. Um, fx, f sub x times dx, that is going to be equal to dy dt times dt plus and then we have f sub y, dy dt, dt, okay? So this is what we now have. Now, this is very nice. Hopefully you're seeing a pattern here. We have dt in these two terms, okay? So then something that we could do is we could factor it out and use a very important equation in math. There is an equation that goes df is going to be equal to uh, f sub x dx plus f sub y dy and it follows, okay? This is a very useful equation. If you divide the entire thing, uh, I'm gonna use this notation, hopefully you don't get angry at me. Uh, if you multiply the entire equation by one over dt, then you have df over dt, which is exactly what we have here, okay? Uh, I'm gonna, um, yeah, shoot, yeah, I'm gonna continue down here. Uh, we could say the following, we have fx dy, fx dy, uh, dy dt, fx dy dt, plus fy dy dt, oh sorry, this is an x, that's an x, dy dt, and then we have a factor of dt outside, okay? Now, based on this equation, if we multiply by one over dt, well, this will be equal to df over dt, okay? So then this becomes an I total, I totally forgot the c here. That's just good notation, don't forget about it. Uh, we have now along the curve c, 
and now we have df vt, okay? And this is great because we also have another dt here. And then these two dt's, they go away, which is nice. And because they go away, well, we simply now have an integral of df, okay? And now really the curve doesn't matter. You can just say that you have the integral of df along some bounds, okay? And because df, we're really playing, uh, we're really playing in t notation. You could say that you have t1 up to t2, okay? And then, well, you're integrating with respect to f, and you're integrating one that is just going to be f of x, y, and as many variables as you have, evaluated at t1 and t2, okay? And then it simply follows that this is equal to, uh, here, really, you have a multivariable function and t2 and t1, you could think of it as times, but really think of them as points, okay? t2 and t1, they just represent, in this case, they would represent sort of tuples or coordinates, okay? So then this would just be f evaluated at t2 minus f evaluated at t1, okay? Now, something that troubles me about what I just did is that we could have just said, we could have just used this equation here instead of doing this and just saying that this is equal to df. And yes, you could have totally done that. But what I was trying to show you here is that the parameterization you use for t, I use the parameter t, but really it doesn't matter what you use, what parameterization you use. And in the end, these dt's will cancel out and then the parameterization you use will really not matter. And that is why the theorem is so powerful because, well, you can parameterize the curve any way you want, or really you, you barely have to think of a, of a curve as long as it's a, well, as long as you have a gradient field, then this applies, okay? And it's great. And I just wanted to, yes, you could have jumped, jumped straight from, straight from here to this, but if you want to know, well, what happens if you use a parameterization with respect to t, well, this is what happens, okay? It just, well, you add a couple more steps to the derivation, but it still works out because these dt's cancel out, okay? So this is what we have, and this shows you that uh, this theorem is true, okay? So hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully you learned something. This is just a video to help you become more comfortable with this equation, okay? And to know that it is true, okay? So yes, I'll see you in the following video. Bye.